Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Seven Deadly Sins Season 4, or I guess it's just Imperial Wrath of the Gods Episode 22. I never know. I think uh, I think it's Season 4 on uh, on Netflix, but it's also like like the second, what they considered to be like the, I think what they considered to be the third season, or maybe it was the second season, one of them was, like, four episodes, or either way. Whatever, guys, you, you know what we're on. Imperial Wrath of the Gods, episode 22. We are in the midst of the Holy War, just about to begin, I suppose. We have our uh, demons lined up. We have our, uh, you know, many races of good guys come together, and uh, and we are about to see a pretty big battle here. We still haven't seen anything from Bon, who is over trying to find Meliodas' emotions, I believe. Is what he's doing over there in purgatory or whatever. Um, but I am very much interested in, in how this goes. Unfortunately, we lost Arthur. Um, I wasn't too sad about his loss, even though I feel like maybe I should have been in the episode, you know? But there's just something that tells me that he's going to be back. Like, they set up his badass sword, they set up his character... They slowly made him more badass as the season went on. Um, and actually, we've we've seen Arthur since season one. They've been building him up and, like, Merlin's, like, dedication to him. I feel like we can't just end it with, like, one badass moment from him and then stabbed in the heart and he's done, you know? So I, I definitely think he's coming back, which is why I wasn't too upset in the last episode. But either way, guys, I'm really excited for this. So let's just jump into this, shall we? We're going to start here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. We also only have, what, like, three more episodes counting this one? So we're coming up on the end of the season, but we do have a whole other season to watch. Yeah. Oh, the recap. Yeah. Oh, uh, the retrieval from Merlin, though, was so badass when she came in to get Arthur out of there. Too bad it was foiled by mind control. Jeez. Uh. All right. They're just firing away. That uh, that distant three D shot of of the horses wasn't wasn't super great, but that's fine. It's hard to animate a lot of moving things like that in one one panel. Bowser! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did he just rip that thing apart? Anyway. Damn. We know that Hauser has been, like, leveling up a bit, too, you know? The question is, guys... I wonder if we're going to get Meliodas' emotions back before the end of the season. Will Bond come through for us? And we'll be able to go into next season with a, uh... Our, our Meliodas back. We also have to save, uh... Elizabeth, too. <clears throat> Because Elizabeth is, like, fated to die within, like, three days of her powers awakening. And I guess it hasn't even been three days yet, which is crazy to think about. Considering, like, for me, that was, like, two months ago that we had that revelation or some shit. <clears throat> do do. You know, the majority of the light that came from what I assume is that Archangel in that shot in the opening just came right from his crotch. Just figured I'd mention that. 
So whoever that archangel is just has dick lasers. I still love that shot of like the moon being like the glow on the Supreme Deity's face. War Ravage Britannia. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh, this is the other commandments, right? Well, you gotta eat your vegetables. There we are. Oh no. Yeah, they're a target though, so. They're coming for those commandments! Everyone's telling her the same thing. This girl's too good to have something bad happen. Oh my god! Hey, this guy. All right. Three or more? Jeez. <clears throat> oh boy. Jeez. They teleport away just in time. <laughs> oh, the horsey or thing. Jeez. Oh, how's there already? Man. Yeah, the, uh, the good guy's side is not looking too hot right now. Nonsense. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, he's gonna, like, kick him. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh. Well. The humans seem severely outnumbered. Like, they need to be taking down more than one. Uh, it's the... yeah. I still don't trust it. Ugh, he's gonna get drunk on the power. Oh, uh, they're all getting back out. Uh... Cheat Hope. All strength, oh shit. Are they gonna like... Oh, the music. <laughs> um... Are they gonna like die afterwards? Is it like... Is it kind of like an adrenaline sort of thing where they can push past their, their normal limits? But then, like, the after effects are gonna be, like, whatever, like, fatal wounds they sustained during the ability's duration once it wears off. They just die. Jeez, they're just slapping people! They're just slapping people! <laughs> All of them, they're just like, whap! Oh. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Oh my god! Dian! <laughs> what? 
<laughs> She's surfing a wave of Earth. What a freaking badass. Oh shit. Oh, king. Yes, we've dealt with these before. Jeez. Spin to win. It's always effective. <laughs> God, that's so many. Oh shit. Arcs? Just blasting him away? Yeah. Damn! Omega Arc. My god, they just wiped out so many demons. That was like the, the Archangels? Yeah. Jesus. Well... Why even sacrifice the lives of the humans? The, the Archangels can handle it. I don't know how often they can do that, though. There's still so many of them, though. Uh, will the commandments protect this village? Uh, the area, or whatever her name is, and the other the guy? I can't remember his name. Jesus, so close. They're all so close. Bon Spiet, that's what it was. Oh shit. You're just gonna lose your commandment. Oh, she's gonna give up her commandment. Will she live after she loses it though? Or are they just gonna kill her? Oh, oh he's here. Damn. Oh, shit. They were just gonna give it up, though. They were changing. This innocent girl's gonna die. Eddie, Eddie. Hmm. Right, I remember that. Oh. Yeah. And she's dead right now. Yup. Oh my god. Just instantly. Yep. Oh, man. Well, what are they going to do? Are they going to fight now? To defend themselves? Are they going to try to negotiate? We'll give up our commandments if you let us live?
This is what's gonna... This is what's gonna turn the tide. Like, this is what's gonna turn the opinions on the Archangels, isn't it? They're gonna suddenly, like, drop dead, right? Oh, she's gonna warn her. She's gonna warn her, maybe. Yeah. Oh shit. <clears throat> hmm. Jesus. <laughs> Oh. Yep. Oh shit. She was healing them. Damn. So comparing them to the demons that are being ordered around mindlessly, like, they, they have to obey, and comparing them to them, who feel like they have to obey. It was a little fairy thing. Damn, Elizabeth. Did I say uh, I might have? God damn it. <laughs> she tripped. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if I said the wrong name for Elizabeth. Um, I don't know why, but in my head I keep thinking Amelia. I just have too many shows with Elizabeth's, Amelia's, uh, Emma's, and, and stuff like that, and like all the different shows I'm watching. Uh, he's pissed. Oh, he can full counter. Pick his soul. Oh shit. Oh, what? He swapped spots with it? Oh. All right. They're fighting. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, he loves her, doesn't he? Possibly. Yeah, he's just gonna kill him anyway. Yeah, he's got his own plans, doesn't he? I figured. Yep. Jeez. Oh shit, every commandment knows except you. What is it? What is it? Oh, he did the swap! Hunter a joke. Uh Okay. That's cool. What is he about to tell him, though? <laughs> oh, I want to know what this is. Without the power of darkness. Ah. Uh. There goes all their clothes. <laughs> I like that their clothes burned up though, at least it like makes sense, you know. I feel like this isn't going to be the end of Esterosa, but is it? Hmm. He's at least knocked out. Oh! Oh, he's still fighting. Oh, shit. Did he take the hit for her? He swapped places with her, didn't he? Oh, that sucks. No, must be it. I loved you. I started to really like you at the end there. Oh my god. It's self-destructed. Jesus. Oh, that's it? Really? Damn it. Ah, uh, such a good episode. I feel like the I feel like these last three episodes like are just gonna be great. Ah, uh, wow, we focused a lot on Monspiet and Derriere. Damn. Like every time a character starts to have some kind of turn and some kind of like revelations and stuff like that they die like 
look at freaking Droll and Gloxinia. Like, they they had their turn, and then they gave their lives for it. And now freaking Monspiet and Derriere are, like, trying to be good. And now at least Monspiet is gone. It's so, like, damn. All right. God damn it. Are there any after credits? There are not. All right, guys. That's it for episode 22. God damn it. That was... That was good, but... I was like... Okay, so... With the rules of anime, even after Montpiet got his grasp, like his arm lock on Esterosa, and Esterosa like looked like he was going down, I was thinking to myself, I didn't say it out loud, but I was thinking to myself, like, there's gotta be a turn, right? Like Esterosa's gonna get out of this, and he's probably gonna kill Montpiet. Like, it's gonna happen. And then it went longer and longer and longer, and then we saw like him pass out or seemingly pass out. And I was like, oh my god, like, are they actually gonna do, like, because I was actually, like, happy. I was like, holy shit, now they're gonna, like, live and get out of this. And, like, I was like, that's a turn I did not expect and I truly love. I love when there's a, a turn that I never expected, you know? Um, but, but nope, unfortunately, uh, he went to, I'm pretty sure what happened was, uh, Esterosa went to go punch Derieri, right? And it probably would have killed her. Um, but instead, he swapped places with Derieri, if I'm not mistaken. And then pushed her away with whatever power that was. Damn. That was crazy. But uh, it saved her life at the, at the cost of his own. Now, what is she going to do? Is it possible she changes sides now? Like, is it possible she approaches Elizabeth and says, like, I want to help or something? You know, or comes in clutch and saves someone in the last moment or something? Like, I feel like she has, like, sure the... I mean, she has, like, one of the most interesting storylines, I think, because she was, you know fighting in a war against all the other races and they they killed her sister which made made her hate them even more you know so much hatred for them yet they transformed into enduras and elizabeth saved them so that gave her some conflicting emotions right and now um meliodas like spared their lives so, so once again they were spared by a demon but a demon that was kind of playing on the good side at the time you know, so there's, like, more conflicting emotions, and then after Meliodas blasted them, um, but didn't kill them, like, yes, he injured them quite a bit, but, but didn't kill them, they were saved by a human and taken in where they, where they lived for now, and it's, like, she has all these conflicting emotions, and, like, it's gonna be interesting what side she ends up falling on, because obviously I want her to fall on the good guy's side, I think that'd be awesome, and try to avenge Monspeet, you know, but there's also the fact that, that that good side killed her sister, too, so it's, like, I think her story is, like, very compelling, you know? I'm I'm interested to see where, where she ends up after all this, um, but... But, yeah, damn. Either that or Esterosa survived that big explosion, because I honestly don't know if... That explosion came from Esterosa trying to kill Monspeet, or if that explosion came from Monspeet trying to kill Esterosa. But either way, like, I'm assuming... Uh, I was under the impression that it was Esterosa doing it, which means that Esterosa might be able to survive it, and he might go after uh, Derriere. So as long as she, like, makes it out of this situation, you know, but damn... Now, 
Um, we had some little, like, revelation. Not quite the revelation that I thought we were gonna get. Um, so, he- there is something different about him. But, so far, it has nothing to do- Because I was thinking, like, what if he's the- the fourth archangel that supposedly died? Um, and I had, like, all my theories about that. I've stated it multiple times of, like, different reasons why I think it might be possible. But I don't know if what we just learned here means that it's entirely out of the realm of possibility, or if it's just, like, more things that, like, maybe, maybe even Monspeet didn't know, you know? But basically, Monspeet was saying that, uh, that Esterosa wasn't born with the darkness within him, so he didn't have, like, any power, like, demon power of his own, it seemed like, um... And he was always, like, frail and innocent, it seemed like. Like, he never wanted to hurt a fly, you know? Like, he didn't even want to hurt bugs and stuff like that, like, literally. Um, <clears throat> but the the Demon King bestowed upon him, out of sympathy or pity or whatever, uh, bestowed upon him a commandment, which... Gave him the power of darkness, but not entirely from what it sounds like Monspeet was saying. Like, he doesn't he doesn't wield darkness properly or something, and it's eating away at his soul um, and mind, which is why he's, like, kind of, like, a little crazy sometimes. Is it because his mind is, like, going crazy? But I still don't know what's going on with that vision that he had of, like, talking to, uh... Um, Elizabeth, right? Like, was it... Like, I still don't know what the answer to that is, unless, like, for some reason, before the war of, like, the demon race and everything, that the demon race was closer to the, um, goddess race and they just spent time together, but I don't know. Um, yeah. It's, it's interesting. I'm... I'm very curious about, like, Esterosa's storyline, too, and, and where that's going, you know? Especially now that he heard this, is he going to confront anyone about it, you know? Or is he just going to keep doing what he's doing? And he's also just trying to betray Zeldris and Meliodas. Like, he's he's just trying to take all the commandments for himself and, and gain that power. But uh, according to Monspeet, that's not good. He's going to, like, be destroyed by doing that, you know? So... Interesting stuff, guys. Interesting, interesting. Now, um, we have the whole other side of this episode where we had the, the Holy Knights going in and fighting. Um, we kind of had a talk about their uh, blessing that was given to them by Ludoshiel and how it just gets rid of their, like, fear and pain and stuff like that, so that way they keep going. And they thought that it was... Ludoshiel's blessing that was healing them as well, but no, it turns out that the blessing doesn't heal or anything like that, it just makes you think you're okay, so that way you keep pushing forward until you die. Whereas Elizabeth has been healing them all this whole time throughout the whole battle, trying to make sure that no one dies. Obviously, I'm sure there's people that have died, like, there's way too- this battle's way too large scale for not a single person to have died. Um, but... <clears throat> But yeah, that was a really cool revelation, and I like how, like, that one dude was like, oh, that means you've been pretty much useless, because she was, like, talking to the souls of the demons or whatever, and he's like, you've been doing nothing then. Like, bitch, she's been healing you this whole time, and that's basically what they said. Um, but, but yeah, and that's also crazy that she was talking to, like, the souls of the demons, and apparently, like... It's impossible for a demon to, like, a lower level demon to resist the orders of a higher level demon, which means they're just ordering these demons to just go in, fight, and die, like, until you die, you know? And, and a lot of these demons, these lower ranking demons, are just like, I don't want to do that. And they're just like, no, you have to. And they're like, shit, I guess I have to, <laughs> you know? And they just, they just go and die. That that really stinks, and that's interesting that uh, Elizabeth is talking to the souls of, of all those demons. I wonder if that's going to amount to anything. Like, is it possible that, like... Shit, did I say Amelia? Elizabeth. 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 God damn it. Too many shows with too many names that are Elizabeth, Amelia, Emma. God damn it. <clears throat> um, 
Uh, but I wonder if Elizabeth is going to be able to do anything with that. Like, the whole, like, talking to the souls and stuff like that. Like, will that amount to anything? Or was that specifically for this part here? Like, will she be able to somehow find a way to, like, break the hold that the higher level demons have on the lower level demons? So that way the lower level demons can just do whatever they want? Or did she just give this information as a means of comparing the lower level demons to... The holy knights that are blessed by Ludotiel, where they're kind of doing the same thing, where they're just blindly going in and throwing their lives away, you know, and she's like, I don't want people to die, I want everyone to live if possible, you know, I don't know, uh, maybe it's, maybe I'm thinking way too much into it, which I probably am, but yeah, like, another episode, like, without much Meliodas, like, we had Meliodas, what, at the very beginning of the last episode, a, a tiny bit, when the, when King Arthur was fighting, um, and since then, I think ever since, like, the whole King Arthur bit happened, we just didn't have Meliodas at all the rest of that episode and at all this episode, so I am truly missing Meliodas. Like, he's always been a goofy character, and I wouldn't say he's ever been, like, my favorite character, but I I really want old Meliodas back. I'm I'm missing that. I can't wait. Like, I'm really hoping that at the end of the season we, we have him back, but... But yeah, guys, good stuff, good stuff. Was there anything else? I feel really bad about the girl that died, but I saw it coming from a mile away. Um, the one that saved uh, Monspeet and Derriere. Um, oh, friggin', I kept putting it off uh, to talk about other things. Um, friggin' Deanne riding a friggin' uh, wave of... She was surfing a wave of Earth. And just toppling demons left and right. Like, what King did was badass. He took out two of the uh, Albions, right, at once. Which he struggled with one before, so that shows his growth. But friggin' all Deanne could do before was, like, shoot up a bunch of pillars. Which was, like, really cool and really powerful. But she just freaking That was insane. I did not expect that at all. When I saw that much Earth moving... I was like, what the shit is this? I literally did not know what to make of it. But no, it was just Deanne. Like, that's how much she's powered up ever since completing the trial with uh, with Droll and Gluxinia and all that stuff that went down. Damn! That was really cool. I, like, can't get over how badass that was. But, oh, man. Anyways. Uh, I think that's honestly all I had to talk about for this one. I am super excited for the next episode, though. This is getting really good. We are we're well into the the battle now, and I mean, with two episodes left, I don't know what we're gonna see. I feel like there's so much, so many threads to to wrap up. You know, like does this arc even end this season? I feel like it has to end this season. But we still have, like, Meliodas possibly getting his emotions back from Bon. Uh, we have the whole, like, commandment thing and obtaining that power and what happens when they do, like, utilize that power. Will he be able to break the curse that's on Elizabeth? Like, we have to save Elizabeth. Uh, I mean, this whole war has to come to a conclusion. Like, we have to deal with Esterosa if he's still alive, you know, because he's, like trying to plot to overthrow, you know, Zeldris and Meliodas as well. Like, I still don't even know if Zeldris is going to be, like, going along with this plan, or will he do some kind of betrayal thing in the end, too? I don't know. I feel like there's so many damn things going on, but I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how they manage to wrap this up in two episodes, if they even do, so. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy. Uh, or you can check out my Patreon where you can see the next couple episodes ahead on there uh, by supporting the channel. And uh, you can also see my Patreon shows where I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen uh, and uh, Black Sails, my live action pirate show right now. So check that out if you want to help out the channel and everything. Yeah, that's it from me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye bye.